The PDP vice presidential candidate, Mfaya Kova, has called for the establishment of state police to save the security situation in the country. The vice presidential candidate, who spoke at an event in Abuja to commemorate the International Youth Day, challenged Nigerian youths to shun ethnicity and vote for leaders who can tackle the current security situation in the country. Helen Osamide Aiken reports. Nigeria is in the throes of a serious insecurity problem which has stretched on for too long. It has got it so bad that Nigeria was rated the third worst insecure country in the world in 2020 by Global Terrorism Index behind Afghanistan and Iraq. This rating raised grave concern among security experts and the government. But the PDP vice presidential candidate believes that to tackle the root cause of insecurity in the country, state police must be established. We didn't straighten the land. Why would the states not be allowed to have their police where they can equip them and that they can help in security in the land? The issues of restructuring the Nigerian federal system as a bond of our problem. But the real problem lies with not maintaining a strong and progressive bond between generations amidst of these differences. The theme for this year's celebration of the International Youth Day, Intergenerational Solidarity, creating a world for all ages, highlights ageism and how it affects the society. This speaker stressed the need for positive youth engagement in the affairs of nations and in order to achieve peace relations. Youth are the bedrock of any nation and it has, it has been rightly described before now. The youth are not only the future of our society but future leaders but leaders of today. It is not just enough to load blame on the young people for this economic fraud without dealing with the root cause being the overbearing get-rich-quick syndrome, which has pervaded our society today. The venture dignitaries both in politics and other aspects of life. African youth must be adequately empowered through education, exposures, opportunities, advantages, privileges and cultural resources with a view to making the service-oriented owners and leaders of the present and future. Helen Osamedei Kings, TVC News, Apucha.